Yo, what up though, YouTube? It's your boy Digital Trap. I'm back at it again. Um, it's not a credit video. This is a, it's not a crypto video. It's some motivation, like mindset uh, type deal. So I just want to break this down to y'all. Like, um, so I've been, I've been, I've been uh, on this entrepreneurial journey for a few years. In and out of a few businesses, in and out of a um, few things. Um, and one thing I learned is uh, you really got to focus. Um, you become like, uh, become nerd-like with whatever business you got. Um, and that's really important. I got my Invisalign in. Shout out to Dr. Rima. Um, so one, one, thing I, one thing I want you to understand is when you become nerd-like with something and you master the art of knowing something, this is what I feel. It's my opinion. You master the art of knowing something and then like you nerd out with it. Like you just go hard. You eat, sleep, live, and breathe that. I feel like that's when you have like a like substantial growth, like just crazy growth because it's something that, you know, you, you, you eat, sleep, live, shit around that. You know what I'm saying? And that's something I had to really come intuition with is understanding that part. And now that I understand that part, it's like really just having focus, really just out here helping people. And in, in the beginning of you creating a business, um, it's, it's, fight or, it's fight or flight, you know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to survive, you're in a true survivor mode and uh, you just wanna make money at first and then you realize it's bigger than money. Once you realize it's bigger than the money and that the money will come, you know, the money will follow you, then you start worrying about helping people. I feel like that's the biggest thing. Um, I had a point in my life, it was like, money's cool, but like I wanna feel good while you're making the money. You know what I'm saying? I want to help other people get them same type of results too as well. So now that um, I hit that point in life, like starting a business, like I didn't have like no real support. Like, and that's something you got to understand when you're starting your business. There's nobody that's going to root you on all day, every day. Like, hey, you got this. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just you. Like you become your own cheerleader in a sense. And you got to give yourself a pat on the back because it's you doing it. Like, I feel like it's crazy, you know? Like, you expect people to support you, but they won't. In a sense, of, especially if they if they came up with you and y'all came from the same space, same hood, same area, whatever, same upbringing. And sometimes people get jealous and they get envious because you pass them up and y'all came from the same place. So they feel like you should be in the same spot. So a lot of times people won't help you, won't share your uh, content, won't share your business, won't do stuff like that. I'm gonna tell you, fuck. That's what I'm gonna tell you. And, and put yourself around people that like-minded. They don't gotta be people in your same industry, but yes, you do wanna get a mentor somewhere in that industry. But then you want mentors in other areas as well. Um, and that's something that I really learned for myself is, you know, you may get into a group and it's all y'all in the same group, but in it, you got to think of it. If you're all y'all in the same group, um, how far do you think these people, like that's doing the same thing that you're doing, how far do you really think they're going to get you? Like, you got to get outside of that. There's some people in there that will help you and really want to, you know, see you make it and see you go to the next level. That is true. But not everybody's going to be here to help you. That's just any part of the world, no matter what you're doing. So the thing is, you know, when you ain't got that support, you ain't got that help. You got to stay motivated. And it's easier said than done when them days get dark. And it's just like, man, you feel like everything crumbling. It's easier said than done. Hell yeah, it is. But I'm here to tell you, if you stay on your grind and you stay focused, and you don't spread yourself thin, and you really nerd out with whatever it is you're doing, whether you're doing something on the internet, whether you got a lash business, whether you're rapping, whether you're a real estate agent, whether you're in the credit repair industry, whether you just do stocks, no matter what it is, if you nerd out with it, you do hair, it don't matter, babysit, you just become the best version of yourself and don't really have, don't really look at nobody else's competition. Because in all reality, you your own competition, I promise you. 
Because if you're trying to be like the next man, you'll never know what they went through. You'll never know what they done. You'll never know their real background story. They may look good on the outside, but they may be fucked up on the inside. And that's just the harsh truth. So I want to break this down to you. Go out there and do everything that you set yourself out to do. <clears throat> America wasn't built in a day, and I'm traveling down this beautiful highway, you know what I'm saying? And it's still being built. They're building a whole new lane after so many years. They're putting a whole new lane on it. So it's still always time for you to build yourself, okay? Get yourself right. Take care of you. Love you. Love you first. You know, love God. Love God. Love you. And then everything else comes after that. But make sure you take care of your business. This shit, man, we not here for long, man. We not here for long. We're here for a good time, not a long time. That's what I always say. But in all actuality, it's only you that's stopping you from getting to the next level and the people that you surround yourself with. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the friends. It's, you know, they, of course they not, you want them, them, them your, you want them to be your immediate support because they right there. Put yourself out there in the market. Don't be scared. What you scared for? Don't be scared. Take care of yourself. Put yourself in that area where you gotta grind and you just disappear for a while. Just take care of you. The real one's gonna understand. The fake one's gonna be like, oh man, you fake as hell. You don't come around, you know. The hell with them. You worry about yourself. The real one's gonna really check on you, stick with you. That's cause you don't hear from people every day don't mean that they, you know, they don't fuck with you sometimes. They just probably going through their own shit too. But this is just this is a message to y'all, man. I hope this I hope this helps somebody in this world to just understand like you gotta gotta go out here and do it. I didn't have nobody helping me. I was homeless as fuck. I was broke. I ain't had no money. Like, no money. I know that's like a cliche story with everybody, but if you know my background, like, I quit my truck driving job in 2017. It wasn't working for me. I got up out of there and I had three daughters. I got three daughters. And I had a, you know, I tried to provide a roof over my children's head. Things got hard for me. And I just said, I gotta go hard. Yeah, I gotta put my all into it and it gotta be me fast forward I'm doing a lot better got my own place got my own car you know um and i just thank god for everything that's been given to me from the efforts of my work that i put in the universe rewarded me i ain't gonna go into myself into detail you know but i've been through the trenches you following me from somewhere else from detroit michigan i'm letting you know right now it ain't no jobs out there if they is, they barely minimum wage jobs, you know? So I just found another way to, you know, get myself up out of that situation. I use all my resources, but I'm telling you, it's only you versus you. You stopping yourself from getting to the next level. Your mind, your mind can create a reality that don't even exist. You can make it exist, because that's what you believe. Once you get outside of your mind, and you start to really Put yourself in the right perspective with everything, your life will change. Put yourself around the right people. Stay consistent and be focused. And nerd the fuck out at whatever it is that you want to do and expose yourself. You ain't got to be famous. Just expose yourself to the right people. Because I'm telling you, you can shake somebody's hand and it can change your life forever. I'm telling you, because some people will want you to be in that room. Some people will want you to, to grow. Some people look at you like, man, that's be a good mentee. I see myself in them. Somebody did me like that and I never look back on that. So get out here and put yourself in that in that area. Expose yourself to the world. Cause we're not here forever. Just make sure you make it count while you're here. It's your boy Digital Trapping. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment below what it is you do in life and how would you like to see yourself grow. If you're local, you know I may get you on an interview. Um, you know what? You ain't gotta be local. If you just want to get on an interview with me and we can, you know, you can, I can ask you some questions. You can ask me some questions about, you know, the entrepreneurship so we can teach other people that's like us that, you know, want to be entrepreneur. We can teach them the ways and let me know. That's just a quick message. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you're on Facebook, don't forget to follow the channel. Don't forget to share the content. And I appreciate y'all. Stay focused, stay consistent, and nerd the fuck out.